Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's myself, Mank Francesca the Pope. I'm here to do an intro for the uh, Bodega Boys podcast. We're doing uh, synergistic uh, collaborations now that I am uh, looking forward to my career post-retirement of being the best motherfucking sports talker guy in the, in the business. Uh, we've been watching the Yankees playoffs. Uh, you know, the uh, they won the wild card game convincingly. Uh, I was uh, something happened that never happens before. I was absolutely incorrect about a some something. Uh, Severino, who I did not know was Dominican uh, and also lazy, uh, gave up very many hits in the first inning. Uh, and uh, but you know we bounced back and we we won. But uh, the Cleveland Indians shut us out last night. It was a sad sight to see. You know, especially since there were so many wonderful players on the Yankees that deserved to win, such as Greg Bird. You know. And guys like that, you know, you know, certain guys, you know, I'm not going to mention uh, anything about, you know, ethnicity or anything like that. But that, that's not the point. Steve, give me another Diet Coke. What I'm here to say is that this is episode 83 of the most illustrious podcast uh, that I've never heard of before. Uh, but, you know, it, it is what it is. The Yankees uh, are going to win, uh, I predict, 9-2 uh, to two next game. Uh, you know, the, the over is, is looking shaky. Uh, but uh, that's all I got to say for you guys. Uh, checking out, uh, it's Mike Francesa, the Pope himself. Episode 83 of the Bodega Boys. Jesus Nice and the Kid Marrow. They're all right. You know, I wish uh, they were uh, De Lo Mio Personal, you know, if I mean, if you know what I mean. Uh, well, Gabagool eaters, but, uh, you know, you can't help everybody. Do the fucking drop. Live from Red Bull Studios, New York. Yeah, yeah, Bobby. Episode 83, shout out to yeah. PS83, uh, my alma mater, oh, Rylander Avenue, ah, ah, gang, mm-hmm. gang. That's when we jumped Rody in because he said the N-word. That's right. He had to learn the hard way. He was that's Asian right. and Russian, and they had to realize even he could get the hands. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a real hood shit to be, to be like, yo, my alma mater in junior high. My alma mater, yeah. even junior high, my elementary <laughs> school, cool. nigga. I'm out there having like pop, popular graduates. It's me, Pistol Pete, and uh, <laughs> Ralph Lauren. The nigga that invented putting his force, uh, razor under his foreskin yeah, in jail? Yeah, the nigga, the yeah, first yeah. nigga to go to the shower in his Tim. <laughs> yo, what's up? Coming to you live from 224 St. Street. What, what? It's the most dangerous boys, the most illustrious podcast in the world. Coming to you, we are trans... Media. We are coming to you. I was about to say, like, what? (laughs) Many different types of ways you get this fucking art. Fib. You get a live show. Digital. You get the anime. You get the the, the, the shit. You get the shit on TV. TV, You know what I'm saying? We're on every platform, bruh. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you wearing green and pink? Mm-hmm. No? Why? Because we about to do the AKAs. Yo! Yo, it's Jesus Nice, AKA Jesus Vice, AKA Young Chipotle. A.K.A. Pocket State Fat Lake 2. That's okay, right. Chris that for Tindic. Uh-huh. Eli the Bitly. Butchers with a go. Like, That's some right. of that might know you, bitch. Young Day Party. Young Hot Take. Yeah. DJ Fuego. Mr. Don's in Lerano. Mio Nova Zeta Nevete Quattro in Nueva York. Mikhail going off. Yeah. The Juve Boys. MC Luka Gunga P. Putting up for 40, which is short there. Mm. A.K.A. Don't touch me in the Uber pool. I don't fucking know you. Same applies in Lyft. The original my plus one guy. Plus one's going to make a fuss son. Jesus Rossi and the Jamaican Jew. We got a lot of Jewish holidays coming oh, up. Oh, yeah, Yom Kippur. It's, it's time to repent. Hey, burn some bread in the streets for your guy. <laughs> Jermaine Avocado Toast. Young Pa, the ghost of Mufasa. Mufasa, I'm dying. These niggas stop me out, man. You gotta respect my agency, my nigga. Kill them niggas. Yo, Shakuni, we got the cornery. To the moment, I've had a relief for the Yankees. Okay, okay. If I say my Kazaka, three phone Jones. Three phone Jones. It, one of them got a headphone jack. I don't want to hear nothing about uh-huh, that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Jesus, that's Machina. Jake Chuckles. Stanley Cups. The human Dr. Bonner's label. Dilute, dilute, dilute. Yeah. Tina the Trapio. Mr. 240P, because I like my Pino. Blurry. <laughs> DJ, what are they here listening to? Rush FM. Up next, mm-hmm. we have nothing but... Smoking stuff. That's what I was going to say yo yo, but Smoking stuff is going to watch too. <laughs> the curry go. <laughs> Dean Spicer. Jamal Hasbro and the Bronx Celine Dion. Ray and Nephew Nephew the Moreno. You can't contain the human memory. Where the job? Young Aaron, the racist provocateur. Henrik Budquist. Nelson Bank. Dela Sergio can't see me. Vladimir Buffin. The humans were there's melting in your mouth. <laughs> Mr. Oh, Beck's on deck. Ricky T. Squavi. Uh, Greg Popovich. More yeah. stage with your chestnut. Mahatma Gandhi. Not Maccabi, but I got that cool combo. Ooh. The juices are pressed, but your boy never, never. is. I am the art, damn it. Yeah. Pilates has the cops are dragging you out the studio. Yeah, yeah. The Dundalli good news. No more cup of noodles. The Prince of Peck on the fashion over Casanova. William H. Cent. Five cent. Ten cent. Dollar. Ooh. Forget the small change. Give me 
Big money and wine. The only anthem I salute is Gypsy. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Saga. Catch me at square one. <laughs> Top left. <laughs> Mr. Chop that street easy with bad breeze. I'm easy. Please believe me. The black easy had to crack your back like an automatic craftmatic. Mr. La Marina. Mr. Marina with a fresh misdemeanor. A cold demeanor. Okay, you're a problematic bitch. Mm-hmm. Wow. If you wear the, if you flip the condom inside out, it's a new condom. It's a new condom, bro. Hey. Okay, and now you're the inside of your penis is lubricated. How about that? It's your boy, the Camaro, a.k.a. the human direct flap, a.k.a. Donald McDab, a.k.a. Curve Gotti, a.k.a. Trez Khalifa, <laughs> a.k.a. Scoot Loader, a.k.a. James Van Dick on Ghost on You Shorty. And I will not leave fingerprints. AKA, I know fucking baby, I fucking man. AKA, just to guess this again, you fucking tall tea wearing meathead. I'll come back here and shoot this whole shit the fuck up. Nigga, this is Mama Sushi. You think I'm not getting in here? Are you fucking crazy? Mm. I'll jump off a boat in DR, nigga, and kill a swordfish with my bare hands to impress my kids. Because it's the fucking d- d- dad of the year. AKA, Ben Smack B. Young Boy. AKA, Phil the S. Tyson. I'm trying to explore your cosmos, ma. A.K.A. Frying El Messi MVP of La Mota A.K.A. Tom Brazy Shorty got your balls Tint deflated But fuck it Maggie gang A.K.A. Dominican Tantata A.K.A. Barlow Santana A.K.A. Dick in your bay Matumbo A.K.A. Ben Boss And my hands are gifted I've replaced your cranial cortex With a label From a shipping container That now You can send your brain To the Dominican Republic At a discounted rate A.K.A. Lighten El Dachi Hello Is it weed you're looking for? Because I can see it in your eyes That you're broken, sing your fire AKA, I'll open your fucking medicine cabinet, nigga Please secure your benzos, you fucking wing Cause it's the Zen, man AKA, Rico Sabroso AKA, Baby Newport 2 for 5 AKA, Zenio Benningfield Mmm, now you gotta get some sticks Mmm, now you gotta get some sticks AKA, Nino Brown shutting down the car AKA, East Dream on Stevie B I wanna be the one you think is fucking aka I'm a 99 when I put on my he- my fucking hoodie nigga you know who it is it's Bormelo's Anthony <laughs> Swish and straight from across the palm mate you know it says it's the plantain supernova in the sky someday you will find me smoking hooks on Dykeman wow, happy birthday to my nigga P.O. You know what I'm saying? If you see me in Target trying to discreetly eat a whole box of Oreos without paying for it, respect my fucking agency, fam. Approach me like an earth sign mammal and do not approach my children because they are just as aggressive. You understand? Que lo que mi gente, llegó al hijo Tito FIFA, papi shampoo, el que te lo meto donde tú haces pupú. Voy a decir un special shout out para mi, pa mi tigre el número uno, el más loco de todo. Pido la distinguencia que cumple 24 años o 24 meses, yo no estoy seguro. Pero estamos activados, el mamatsushi es por todos los lados. Así que tápate el, lo, tápate el caco para no descocotarte. You know what I'm saying? We're here now. Let's get it. Episode 83, mm. Mm. You guys are welcome. <laughs> so we bring it. Shout out to uh, the sponsor. Shout out to Red Bull. Shout out to Canada, mate. Toronto. Hey, hey. Hey. Very, very hospitable Mr. country, Saga. man. Uh, Scars brought what everybody. Show this love. Amani took care of us. Yeah. She uh, brought. She. Uh, I'm saying it's real. Ah, Amani pronounced it properly. <laughs> took us to the uh, Toronto. T- uh, t- uh, yeah, don't pronounce that last T. Don't tea. pronounce that T, dog. Don't. Right, don't listen. You're not gang if you pronounce that T. Don't cheese me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we here doing this shit early in the morning, and yeah. Mans is marved. Mans, Mans is marved. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We're stealing your little slang. We're bringing it to the brush. We That's might. Right. My ruin it. Wait till you hear Cardi B say shit like, like that. Yo, man, just mom. Man, just mom. Like, yo, uh, that's, that's okay. her thing. Why? Nah, we killed it out there in Canada. The live show, we're supposed to go for 75 minutes. Tremendous we actually success. did an extra half an hour, and we the did. people in the theater was like, could you get the fuck off the stage? We'd like to go home. Hey, guys, we're, we're staff here. We work here. We have no idea who you are, but we want to go home. Yes. Very good crowd. Nice stole out show. People's out there. You know, shout out to the Bodega Hive coming representing. Hard. 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 Yo, there was very many Bodega I was not expecting it. Because Montreal, not that there was a Montreal, Bodega Hive in Montreal, but mm-hmm. it wasn't as deep as Toronto. Because Toronto was, like, heavy. Toronto came out. Toronto was the shits. Damn. I respect it. I like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Just for last festival, thanks for having us. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else we got? Uh, shout, just finished, wrapped up. 172 episodes. 172 Four episodes. Bags, illustrious podcast mm-hmm. show, art, TV show. You know what I'm saying? Merrill, Nebulous um, media Vice conglomerate. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, got snubbed for an Emmy. Is that right? 
Because we got Emmy in these streets. You That's know what I'm right. Saying? When we go get that brick, a poppy going to give us half a brick on credit just, That's just right. for Off having the, the bear. He'd be like, oh, you the two guys with the bear. Oh, the you oh. like it. Do good. You saw uh, it good, poppy. I, I like take, it. I take 10K off a of brick. It's you. okay. It's okay. You, know you, you talk my daughters? You know Dave Moreno. No, no, no. Hey. <laughs> also, shout out Jimmy Fallon, who was just on there yesterday. Flamed it. Yeah, we did. We, yeah. We, yeah, we were on tonight's show twice, guys. No big deal. Twice. You know what no I'm saying? Big, no biggie. It's whatever. You no know what I'm saying? Right? Got another swag bag I threw in the corner somewhere. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to brag, but you know what I'm saying? I did a real song with Big, all right? No, no made-up made shits. Shit. You feel me? You feel me? You know what I mean? And also, this nigga made us pickles. He made us A pickles. rich white man made us handmade car artisanal shit to get to us. I may have That's disrespected good. my ancestors by deep throating a pickle <laughs> on primetime TV and went in Jamaica. I was like, what's he doing? He's oh, come. no. Oh, no, <laughs> nigga, red rat. <laughs> when, I for, when I run for president of the Caribbean, it's not a thing yet, but I'm going to make it. This clip is going to come back to haunt me. They're going to run a smear campaign like... <laughs> he likes pickles. Oh, no. Yo. In deep throat to pickle. Man stem. Man stem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, yeah. no, 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 it was different in 2017. Yeah. Jimmy Fallon times were different. Yo, but, uh, yo, happy birthday to fucking the young god, our president here. You know what I'm saying? P.O. You know what I'm saying? He's 24 years old. He is, how do you do an asterisk in, in sound? <laughs> hey, these are air quotes. We're doing air quotes right now. <laughs> He's 24 years old. He's 24 years old. According to one of the five birth certificates located <laughs> yeah. in his apartment. Yo, this guy was at Mama Sushi, so they turned the fuck up, bro. Right? Like, he had, like, his little table and shit, and the nigga was just karaoke and, like, <laughs> it was a very, like, you know how Mama Sushi is. It's not mad huge. Like, your man was sitting, like, basically two feet away from the DJ booth, and mm -hmm. the DJ was just yelling at him all night, like, yo, happy birthday, my nigga. And every time he would say that, he would just be like, yeah. Yeah, grab the mic and start singing whatever song was playing. But you know what? He's living his best life, bro. He came up from shiny shoes in the town square in Dominican Republic to now being at Mama Sushi smoking yeah. fatal amounts of hookah. That's what we did, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's what we did. We pulled ourselves up. When we made the Jigs and Merrow story, we got to make like we we got to make I it from extra Ho sad. Yeah, what I learned from Hollywood is you got to yeah. like exaggerate shit. So yeah, you got to make yeah. it like niggas was eating bottle caps and shit. Yeah, you know bro. Saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like my parents did not just get pregnant and come over here and to have me in, at St. Luke's. Like, I was born in DR, nigga. I mean, and I don't want to exaggerate, but my upbringing was basically uh, the Tupac story. Brendan had a baby. Oh, shit. That was my mother. You got thrown in the garbage? I was thrown in the garbage. God damn. It was actually a very lovely dumpster. My mother was like, say, cozy. Why should we pay for a whole condo? But you got, but we have a dumpster. Yeah. yeah. It's just a retractable roof, like you climate control. Move. It's basically an RV. You know what I'm saying? Being homeless is just a state of mind, dog. Yo, come on. You can just be like, like remember what New York it? City's my home. <laughs> <laughs> where I lay my head is where I live. You know what I'm saying? Remember when it was at Barbara Bush after Katrina? And she was like, it's like they're camping to the people. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, except you have to shit in your tent, you fucking idiot. You can't go wander into the woods and shit under a tree. <laughs> Unbelievable. This guy on a, I was just reading this before we started. Uh, is Barbara Bush dead? By the way? Nah, she's alive, baby. God damn. Yeah, she could be alive. Chelsea's grandfather gets slashed after he gets slashed by a 72-year-old man who was taking a shit in front of his building on West 21st Street. He had his pants down to make poop poop, the victim said. <laughs> he pulled up his pants and went upstairs. I kicked him with my foot, and he swung around with something in his hand and cut me. He had to get four what? stitches. So homie was taking his shit, and then homie would, somebody yeah. else was like, yo, why are you taking his shit, my he nigga? And then homie buck 50 He was upstairs watching from his window, and was like, ah, nah, 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 nah. what are you doing? Chill, chill, I'm going to step on that in the morning. Nah, you got to, there's a level of disrespect where people yeah. are taking shits on your property. Yo, what's up, who fuck it? Yo, is, was this a white guy? Is West, West, oh, the guy taking a shit? Yeah. He was described as between 50 and 60, 5'8". He appeared dirty, wore a black baseball cap, black hoodie, and he was black. And I wanted to make the correlation between him and the mad pooper, but right. like, you, you know what I'm saying? It was a racial thing? Yeah, I was like, nah, white people just shitting everywhere, yo. Like, niggas is really taking over. That's racial unity. We'll shit, shit together. Listen, we'll shit on your, we'll shit on your lawn like a horse in the middle of circus. Just niggas holding hands, squat down like, <laughs> I, I squat for the cat. <laughs> That's right. Next I, time there's an anthem, you just drop your pants and you go, ah, Randy Moss. That's what I think about your anthem. That's right, you're a bunch of poopers. <laughs> Things get mad at tight. Stop disrespecting the troops and the cops and blah by b b defecating on the field. Yo, the NFL would implode if somebody took a shit on the field. Drew Brees is gonna have like all his players interlock arms and take a shit before <laughs> they <laughs> stand, standing up. <laughs> uh, uh, he took a stand for uh, being regular. 
Like you said, then I met a musical in the locker room and shit. Like, this is a disgrace against fiber. What do they have? <laughs> All the black people was like drinking mad milk and shit. Like, oh, I'll show yeah, you. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'm like, oh, word. <laughs> Get ready, nigga. I just had a shrimp and cereal. You got to let it go. Like, when they hit at the Rockets, right? <laughs> ah, sorry, guys. My ass burns thing in air. Gay uh, fruit. <laughs> 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 it was like, whoa. Yo. At our flag. What's the. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna take a wild shit. Uh, did you see Donald Trump yesterday? He's a uh, he, he did a teaser for a war. Oh god! Like it was only a matter of time, bro. Before he came out with like a Michael Bay trailer for like, yo, we're going to war. The way like one man Drake and Rihanna like blew on Snapchat, and you yeah. hear like a new song from them, and yeah. then you'd be like, yo, what is that? What is that? Right oh now? shit, yo! Last night he took a group of picture with some military people, and he was like, you know what this is, right? And the reporter was like, what? He was like. This is like the calm before the storm. And everyone was like, what does that mean? What he was is, like, you oh, you'll see. So I, the Russian investigation is getting very close. Like the guy that came out with the Dossiter, the Michael Steele. Yeah. The one that said he like niggas, just, like, he was uh, doing pissy things. Yeah, yeah. And everyone was like, nah, that shit is fake. The guy investigating it went directly to Michael Steele. He didn't go to the GOP or none of that shit. Ooh. He was like, nah, I gotta get, nah, fam, I gotta get that straight from the it's source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hearing a lot of things on the street. Uh, you know what I mean? Saying, yeah, I mean, yeah, niggas just shit is stepped on. Keep, 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 yo, Rice Priebus is a bitch. I, I want him to strike your name. Don't let me know what happened. <laughs> so if he went to go investigate him for real, for real. Who's he gonna go to war with? Russia? Fucking North no Korea? Bother. He probably just gonna, like, Send some nukes at North Korea, like, oh, look at that over there. Like, what a cornwall. They're like, yo, you was getting peed on, my nigga? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah there's nukes over there. Bang, yeah, bang, yeah, bang. yeah, yeah, nukes. Look, yeah, Kim Jong-un, he's wildin'. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, look you at saw, all the booms over there. Look, you saw Team America. He's a wild boy. Go get to him. Don't worry about the piss. <laughs> what I sip is what I sip. Don't worry about that. If I have a double cup, it's whatever. <laughs> How come Young Savage, Troy was happy to walk around with a cup of lean? Come on. I drink a little uh, yellow stuff that's not Gatorade. All of a sudden, you guys get judgy. Come on. It's sterile. It has electrolytes. It's good for you. It keeps me alive. How come the guy on uh, Survivor he, Man can drink it? You know what I'm saying? He drinks the piss of every Goldman Sachs executive. That's Ooh. how he stays powerful. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. That Ooh. shit will fuck him up. with a little financial and political team. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Catch us opening at the, uh, we're going to be doing like galas and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey guys, who has a Roth IRA in here? <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right. All knock, right. Knock, knock. Who's there? The goat standard. <laughs> Everyone's like, what? Uh, yeah. Up next, we got Carrot Top, guys. Enjoy. Hey. <laughs> I think it comes out with like my portfolio. It's like, oh, ho, ho. is that a good HGH? I feel like I'm, every time I think about him, he's like more and more brolic. E, I think he might be. God damn. I mean, what is he, he a relic? Or does he still do shows? He still does shows. I think he has a, in uh, Las Vegas. Yo, Vegas? Is Vegas home of the wash? Like, yeah. It is, right? Yeah, yeah. So when we get washed, we got to do like oh, the, you know, we the gonna Bellagio. That, like, we're going to have that fucking. Uh, Ve- we're gonna have that Vegas for like reunion tour. Get the fuck out of here. What is he getting paid? Don't tell me. How much you think Carrot Top's net worth is? I'm about to throw this fucking computer across the room. Nah, that's some fucking bullshit. I'm tight now, nigga. Please don't tell me 100 million. I'm fucking million. tight. Please don't tell me 75 fi- million. Nah, bro. How the fuck is Carrot Top worth nah, 75 million? Nah, nigga. Nah, do nah. You, uh, what do you got? Papa John's? I'm, this nigga. Nigga. I'm tight. We ah. got, nah, nah, nah. See? And he got mad brolic, so niggas would have robbed him. He yeah, knew he was yo. about to cash out. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, Carrot Top put us on the game. What do we got to do? Bring a skeleton in a box with a happy face on it? What the oh, fuck? Oh, I see what he was doing. He does mad college tours and shit. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. Of course, uh, of course. Wow. And he was on CSI? So basically, all we got to do is bring a box full of props to like. How's Carrot Top worth more money than Dave Chappelle? Are you serious? According to this, yeah. Well, no, Steve Harvey's still up there, but... Wow. Yo. I gotta check. This might be Carrot Top's website. <laughs> yeah, right? It's like <laughs> CarrotTopNetworth.com. Yo, who the fuck... Who's your manager, nigga? Like... An A&R who plays an electric guitar. Damn. Nah, I mean, nigga made the right move. That's why you can't count other people's money, because you you over here like, yo, this nigga's washed. Like, think about it. Just a while ago, we were like, Carrot Top... It's fucking watch, and now you're looking at him different. Like, oh, hello, okay. Mr. Carrot Top. Yo, what's up, dog? Close the door open for him. See the nigga tap him up, man, hard. Like, yo, what's oh, up? Oh, oh, CT, yo, what's CT, good? what's good, baby? Better dead than Ray yeah. Ray. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's my nigga, Barrett Top. Yo, yeah. So, you know what I mean? Yo, you official Jamaican now, my nigga. We call you Ginger Beer. You feel yeah, me? Like, you know what I mean? Good. You down with the squad. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 75 mil. That is fucking But what's 75 mil if you don't have happiness? 
I mean, this guy, they still seventy five million. They still seventy five million. I mean, like I buy a million dollars worth of happiness in a dispensary. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll come up with a type of weed could <laughs> come happiness. On, happiness. <laughs> so they're like, "What's the secret ingredient?" I'm like, "Heroin." <laughs> <laughs> Just a light dusting of heroin over your blood. Yo, Yo man. Oh if my I had 75 million, I would just like invest in shit the world doesn't need. The stuff that people be like, why are you doing that? That's gonna if that gets in the wrong hands, it'd be very dangerous. Like, no, it's all right. no, it's cool. It's, all right. it's not gonna get in the wrong hands. I got why this. are you making AR fifteens for pit bulls? I was like, why, why not? not? Why don't they have the option? Why don't they have they don't have rights? <laughs> Like Pitbulls need rights too. <laughs> you see a pitbull with mad guns and shit. Mad like, guns, like he's like, it's this my constitution. This right? my, it's my cause. Second Amendment. Second Amendment. God damn it! Right to bear arms. Right, right. that's right. You get the dog out the fucking Confederate cool. bag hat. I'm like, ah. Uh, like, Jesus, what you do? I was like, I did not know pitbulls were inherently racist. Uh, I'm sorry. It wouldn't even be the Pitbulls. The Pitbulls would be getting clapped by the fucking Golden Retrievers. <laughs> Just, the Golden Retrievers would be like, hey, stop resisting. Pow, 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 pow. Pitbulls yeah, be like, yeah. Him. Like, yeah, dog was my collar, nigga. Oh, man. <laughs> I make a uh, spiceless hookah for white people. Mm. Mm -hmm. For like the Midwest. It's, it's just like oxygen. It's like yeah. a fake oxygen bar yeah. with a coal on top. Yeah, yeah, it's like a... <laughs> it's That's scam. too spicy. I'm like, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's just O2. Oh, it's dope. sriracha. They're banning hookah in New York City. That is absolutely out of control. I would not have known that from the last night because the fucking hooks is lit. No, they uh, they're making a law now. You can't. You can't make any new buildings that have hookah. Like, not buildings that have hookah. Like, they're not making luxury new condos that have hookah. But, like, you can't make a new hookah spot. And if you do have a hookah spot now, it has to be, like, has to be 75% of his business has to be, like, from hookah. Wow. Yeah. They so, if you got a hookah spot, I got to really be a hookah spot. got to be popping. They can't be, like, a bottle said, of service. It's very dangerous for you. It's, like, 100 cigarettes in one dick. Yeah, listen, guys, you're not... <laughs> <laughs> Plus the foreskin. You're not supposed to actually inhale that shit like you're smoking weed. You're supposed to just kind of like cigar it. You know, you do no, cigars. You're, supposed to, do that like, you're supposed to take it, take some pictures for the gram. Yeah, that's it. Let it go. That's basically it. That's, that's what it. we was doing. You know we gotta, we're going to, what's the new thing? We got to get people off of hookah. Hookah? What's a, Come on a new cool shit. thing that people could go, and it has to be something foreign. Yeah. Oh, hummus. What if like you and your homies just got around? Like, sit, imagine you and like four of your homies on the couch dipping Boom. hummus. Mad baby carrots. You know what I'm saying? Sliced julian, sliced. You, you know what I mean? Club and shit. Niggas come out with the wild hummus. Like with the yo, sparklers, sparklers on this shit. shit. Like yo, yo, girl, he got. DJ's like yo, them niggas the bodega boys is big spenders over there. They got the hummus tray. Come big through. up bodega boys. Big up to these nights. Came out on the building yard. Give it up one time. Up next, coming to the stage, we got heavenly cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Pour hummus on chicks like, ah. girl, you know you thirsty. Just like rubbing it on her titties and shit. Ah, you take shorty hummus like you stink, you stink bro. bro. What you, you smell like garlic, nigga. You pour hummus all over me. <laughs> Bitch, you smell like Nan. <laughs> Bitch, you know Nan. <laughs> uh, yeah, hummus is popular. Oh, That's that used to be a good test for bougie black people because mm. you'd be like, do you eat hummus? They're like, ew, no. Yeah. Like, oh. Mm. No, you don't like mm. chickpeas. Mm. 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 But uh, we have watered down the test for bougie black people so low now. It's like sushi is like... You're bougie. Yeah, sushi, yeah. That's so wild. Sushi or quinoa. Fam, that's out of control because I was at Bronx Community College mm -hmm. and they had like some cultural fair thing, whatever. And I went there with a bunch of Dominican people and like various races, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Haitians, Jamaicans, Dominicans, whatever, like just niggas from the hood. Yeah. So we go to this cultural thing and there's like a buffet. And they got a bunch of sushi rolls. And I was like, oh, shit, sushi rolls. So I put a couple on my plate. I sit down to eat them. And they were sitting at the table. And everybody else was like, my nigga, what the fuck is that? What are you eating? Yo, that's not even cooked. Yo, that rice ain't even cooked. You yeah. eat raw fish? I'm like, bro. People. I was like, bro, level up. I just want people to do better, man. You know what I'm saying? Get some culture, nigga. You know what I'm Go saying? on Google. When you order your steak, my nigga, how about you don't get it well done? You know what I mean? Maybe that calorie start with that. Start with medium well. Mm -hmm. Start with medium well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. See how you feel. Then get to medium rare or just medium, then medium rare. Then what is it before that? Blue? There's some, there's some rare and then blue. Then black and blue. Then black and blue. And then Jesus <clears throat> special. When you go on the field, you just bite a fucking, fucking cow. Like, ah! a fucking, like the fucking Jesus chupacabra, nigga. Fresh. Ah! <laughs> the farmer's like, get out of my field. Ah! Ah! It's porterhouse. Ah! Ah! Just hop away with I need blood. the shank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shout out to Black Love. You got a young thug's ex-girlfriend, Jerrica, just tweeted. I'm definitely back on the market, though. Uh, lipstick emoji. And young thug. Tweeted, what market bitch you gonna die on God? Wow. So, uh. Okay, thugger, thugger. Thugger, thugger. 
See, that's the problem. When you have these relationships online, people are just like, when it's good, people are like, oh, go. Oh, so cute. I want to be like that. And then when it goes bad, mm-hmm. nope. Yeah. All right, I've never tweeted at some girl, bitch, you're going to die on oh, God. Bro, like, why would you? That's committed I, to the you, internet forever. That's an, That can be used in court. I'm uh, not trying to kill nobody. Like, like my, if you want to leave, I'm definitely not trying to kill you. Like, just don't try to kill my bank account. Like, that's all I'm worried about. God damn. I mean, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I've never felt that strongly about a woman that I'm like, yo, if you leave me, I'm going to kill you. you. Yeah. Like, never. I wonder what it's like to be like. Yeah, it's never. Been, it's never that serious. Like, bro. Like, like it might be like I got an Xbox at your house. Like that's different. Like, ma, I'm a 42 games through the se- the season. Uh, Yo, and be two K. Come on, and I played every single one. I did not I simulate, simulate a single one. You come in the house and she's like, "Oh, where are you looking for something?" And she got her finger right on the X over simulate. You're like, "No, no, don't, no, don't you do it? No. Don't you be a monster?" Your team gets blown out 144 to 82. Yo, what are you doing? <laughs> I was gonna win the scoring title, bitch. She was like, "You hurt me." Now I hurt <laughs> you. you. That's right. You're like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> you have a perfect season except for one simulated game. Damn. And it's like some easy game that you were like, "Yo, I'm a little tired. Let me just simulate this." Yeah, it's the Bobcats. No, it It'll don't be matter. fine. Melo's been on fire lately. Mm-hmm. And then you look at you like, "What the fuck? Well, yeah. Where did I lose?" <laughs> The computer's like, well, unprecedented. He went for 100 points. In Alonzo front. G <laughs> scores 98 points in the th- second quarter. Like, nigga, what? Just a player that doesn't even have, like, a face graphic. Like, Not yo. Not even fully. It's like, t- player to be named later. Noob Saibot drops 80 <laughs> in the game. Like, nigga, who are you? You tweet about it, and all the developers are like, oh, shit, we left that nigga oh, in shit, there? Damn. damn. Fuck, my bad. fix that in the next update. Damn, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, Have any national tragedies? Um... <laughs> Lately, in Trump's America, I feel like we every week. God damn. The Vegas shooting. Vegas shooting carried out by a, I'm doing air quotes now, lone wolf white guy who has no motives, and we are searching for motives, and it has nothing to do with domestic terrorism, which is exactly what it is. Well, I mean, everyone's looking for a motive. What if there's no motive? What if there's no motive? What, what if, if he's just, just wanted to kill a bunch of people? That's what I'm saying. And that is literally the definition of terrorism. Like, I'm just going to do some wild shit to terrorize a mass population and create a fracas. Well, I mean, at this point, now we're just getting, like, semantics about what domestic terrorism what is, and we have mass shootings every week. Like, yeah. like now we're getting caught up. We're like, call it terrorism. Like, nah, how about we worry about getting these guns out of here? Shit? Mm, like, that's also true. Also, shout out to the terrorists introducing the world to the uh, little device called a bump stop trigger the bump stock the one that oh yeah that makes your shit fully auto yeah yeah people right. didn't know about it and now they're gonna try to ban it and everyone's gonna run out and buy them of course i'm about the cop six also if you go on youtube there's a way you can do that with the ar-15 without using it you just have to put the uh the butt of the ar in between your shoulder blade like this and kind of keep it loose and when you fire it comes back into your shoulder yeah, yeah. and you just kind of keep your finger on it you know what let me stop yeah i think i had a soft trigger you know you gotta. How come you don't have guns? I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying to like Jersey. We should. Yeah. We gotta That's get, the we thing. Like now that I'm in Jersey, shit. I'm like, yo, I'm just gonna go and and like I don't have any felonies. Yeah. Let's get, like, Gracias a, a Papa Dios, you know what I'm saying? But like, we should really go and just, just cop mad boat. guns. We should just start doing hunting shit. Yeah. Yo, my brother just cop mad guns. Like he's upset. He's just cop, like he cop mad shotguns and shit. He's like, yo, nigga, this is the buckshot. This is the slug for when you put, want to turn a nigga into a bagel. You know what I'm saying? This is the bird shot for when you just want to scare a nigga. Da-da-da. I'm like, bro, like, I would love to blame somebody with a pistol grip, heckling Koch, if they ran up in my crib. Yeah, but that's what you got security for. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't have to be, you you know what I'm saying? be doing the dirty work yourself, man. Shout out to El Jefe, shout out to Jimmy, you know what I'm saying? It's the security goons. <laughs> <laughs> now, now. Shout out to my security goons, Charlie. You know what, you know what I'm saying? Charlie with the shits. Charlie, run up on you. Run up on me at the light. You might lose your life. You might lose your life. Niggas say, don't confuse me with my brother at this bitch. I was like, how did Steph feel when you heard that? Like, like, like damn. Jay just, uh, and also, Jay was talking as so much. Jay was... Jay used to have a lot of gun talk. A lot. Yo. Like, Gwyneth Paltrow doesn't know about shit, that shit, but Jay was like... <sighs> Jay was at the After shit. the trial shit again, he was still talking spicy. He, he was, was like, I'll never make the news again. My, My man, man will shoot, shoot you. you. He was, like, was like, I will. I will. I will shoot you. Me. Look, me. 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 Stanley <laughs> Siegel. 413 Broad Ave. All right? Broad Street. Excuse me. The Broad Street bully. I was like, uh... It's not a game. <laughs> Oh, man. Yo, shout out to Hassan for coming through with the case of the Orange Red Bull, which is my 
addiction. I'm addicted to you. Is that Cassie? I'm addicted that was uh, Cassie and Ryan Leslie, right? Yeah. Yeah, shout yeah. to Ryan Leslie. Yo, he's a musical genius. I don't know. He is. Like. It's been a while since we heard from him. Remember yeah. when he lost his laptop and offered a million dollars to get it back? And it was who stole it from him? It wasn't his like his cousin or some shit? Or no, was that, that was, Kanye? That was Kanye. That was Kanye? Kanye had like a laptop. Sc- he cousin. gave a laptop to somebody and it had like a, the wild Pino scene on it. And the person was like, nah, like you got it. let my cousin try to extort me. Let me make my family Claro. Anyone can get it. Fam, if you try to extort me, I'm going to go to the Dominican Republic myself and unplug the power plant. You know what I'm saying? Don't play with me. You know what it is. You know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Is there one power plant in DR? Um, there's several, but you know what I'm saying? I'll find the biggest one. What have you done to help Puerto Rico? Um, I actually sent over a barrel. Hey. Yeah, I sent over uh, two ba- I sent two barrels to DR. One was for um like my parents and people over there that are struggling, and then one was for to send over to Puerto Rico instead of like because it's cheaper to send shit from DR to Puerto Rico than it is to send from uh, here, according yeah. to this barrel shipping company. So yeah, I sent some clothes and shit, and shout you know out to Earl Sweatshirt with the check in. You know congratulate mean? us on uh, season one. Yo, oh. shout out to Earl Sweatshirt, yo. You, you know what I'm saying? Yo, the, your uh, Joe Budden beard was the best ever I seen in the game, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, I love a hip hop skit. It's classic. That's classic. Well, you know what? We got more classics on deck. That's right. We got a. Uh, Bro, we got so much shit. I was like, I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute. I was like, do we have a book in the works? Do we have a fucking other you know TV what? shows we're, in the works? We're gonna burn out soon. Like, we're going too hard. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great when I'm. We're just like fueled by like cocaine and like fucking caffeine and shit. We just go to shows like, yeah, yeah. Turn into fucking Axl Rose. What's going on, Toledo? Yeah. Niggas are like, we're we're in Canton, Ohio. <laughs> Whoa, we're gonna be fucking up. We're not gonna know what state we're in. You're gonna go to like the wrong venue. I'm gonna be in the wrong state. I'll be like, yo, Mero, you in Montana? I'll be like, nah, nigga, I'm at Denny's, nigga. You saw I thought we was at Denny's. Victor's like, you're both supposed to be in Melbourne, Australia. I'm like, oh, fuck. He's like, don't worry. I, I, I chartered a PJ. Take a private jet 22 hours. Yeah. I just wanna, uh, speaking of PJs, I just wanna big up uh, Ray Schremer for that song. Uh, perple- perplexing Pegasus Yes Which is a fucking banger bro The best part of the song Is when it starts And it goes Yeah Yeah And you just say That shit come in Like Mike Will made <laughs> You know what else Mike Will made What did Mike Miley Cyrus Just fuck a career And now she's trying to Front on hip hop And be like Oh it's misogynistic George Raymond Blah 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 the Fuck out of here With your country twang nigga We saw her yesterday at yeah, Fallon. I smelled it yesterday. Ooh, Mero woke up spicy. Spicy, this nigga. Mero trying to fight with niggas. You know what I'm saying? Trying to create conflict. Who you know what I'm saying? If you could fight one person in Hollywood right now, just a just a fair one, no knives, no gun, and when it's done, you just shake hands and walk. Shake away. Shake hands and walk away. You fight for charity inside a in a boxing match inside a ring. So there's like two approaches to this thing that I'm thinking about. It's like. Is there somebody that I really want to fuck up in Hollywood? Mm-hmm. Or is there somebody that's going to give me the wild signal boost? If I'm going for the wild signal boost, I'm definitely scrapping with Tom Hanks. Because he's, he's or maybe not even Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks and Denzel in a in a lumberjack match where mm-hmm. it's just me versus them two. You know what I'm saying? And then you come out of nowhere like, oh God, that's his music. And it's all dramatic and shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But if we're talking about just fighting in front of the bodega, um, that's a long list. You think Jason Whitlock will watch you? Mm, nah, I think he'd get winded after like two punches. I think he would throw two punches and get completely winded. I would just throw like a um, a junior mint onto the... Yeah. Like if I, if just, you get fucked up, yeah. I'd throw some candy in there. He'd be like... Ooh. Yo, fam, if you throw candy in the air and he tries to catch it with his mouth and you just punch him in the throat mad hard, <laughs> like it's Hippo? over. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> just yeah. throwing darts for no reason. No reason, because you're problematic and you need to chill, nigga. Oh. Nigga. I just got winded. It's going a little too hard this week. <laughs> my body would just be like, yo, my nigga, what, what are you, you doing? What are you doing? What are you, you doing? Like the alarm will go off. Oh, my, no, my baby. Like, yo, what are you? How is you? <sighs> my alarm be going off and be like, yo, see you in 20 minutes, nigga. <laughs> my alarm goes off and it's like, yo, get up. Like, you're not going to lose your job if you're late, but just come on. Go. Like, like. 
Come on, man. I'm trying to not go down that route because I've told myself that several times. Like, nigga, you, this Jesus Merrill. Nigga, it's Jesus and Merrill. If Jesus don't show up, if Merrill don't show up, it ain't no motherfucking show. One nigga. day we're going to get too cocky. They're going to be like, no, it's Jesus and Merrill on Vice now. What should I say? Formally on Vice now. But no, 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 <laughs> we gotta move our shit to fucking the country music network. Oh, no. What's up, y'all? Hey, it's Diesel Romero on Faith Hill. How you doing? It's here with the cue report. <laughs> Let's see what the black. And today the number is. 78 dead this weekend in Chicago. All Ooh, right. Why? why do people take care of themselves? Oh, boy. Let's check the welfare board. We got uh 80 billion African Americans on welfare. Great. Damn. Knock, knock. Who's there? Not black fathers, all right? Who took out the welfare this weekend? <laughs> all right. God damn. But you know what the problem is? Like, they cut us the wild check. To be on like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With Pat Robinson and shit. Yeah, you have to. And we're just sitting there next to him. And he's saying, wow, problematic shit. We can't, like, you know my face? Like, I'm just like, what? Yo. He's like, the reason the Vegas shooting happened is because of gay people and their love for bullets. Then they pan over to us and we just, like, just like, oh, uh, uh, love Praise for, be onto for him. Bullets. Oh, I don't know. Amen, brother. <laughs> He's all like, praises do. All oh, those just not saying like cliche, religious cliches. I'm like, yes. All is possible with the strength of God. If you believe, you can achieve. <laughs> There's no I in team. He's gonna say some shit like, <laughs> also the Yankees are gonna lose because Dominicans are the cursed people and their skin is this. You gonna start choking him out? I'm like, relax, relax. Stop, nigga. He's an old man. Get off that now. Fuck you, Charlie Rose. Fuck Robinson. you now. Get off that Robinson. <laughs> Call the nigga Charlie Rose and shit. Like I can't even tell you niggas apart. The other like old scrotums. <laughs> like he has like the wild PJ Calisimo <laughs> chokes on the thing. He's getting interviewed. Uh, Nero attacked me. Yo, the killer shit. What do Dominicans uh, tend to do? Uh, he's aggressive. He's an aggressive Dominican. Yo, PJ Calisimo really pulled up to the press conference with the wild yoke marks on he's his like, neck. Look what like, he did. Look what he did. He didn't even put no concealer on it. He's like, look what he did. And then he's a mess. was like, yeah, I did that. But the nigga was getting on my nerves. He got too close. The fuck you talking about? <laughs> How you choking to get to leave full handprints on their neck, like, bro? Like you gotta, you gotta really be going in, like. How you choke someone like that and it's not during sex? Right? Serious. I'm not saying that. You should, That's you should I'm saying yeah, if I'm you saying, do, you know. Yeah. Saying, but if you do, don't kink shame. Don't kink shame. You know what I'm saying? That's what's the name of our new band, Kink Shame. Kink yeah. Shame, man. Yeah. We're gonna have Cut Mafia for front line headline. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Cut Mafia! No kink shaming! I put penises in my mouth and my blood in my pool! We'll cover myself in fizzies! Playing a wild beast with a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, niggas. Get a drum some. Niggas just beating him with two, two dildos. Is that the whole thing? Bruh, just using dildos to play instruments? What is up with people, with white people and fake dicks? Like, we did the whole segment of the show about Miley Cyrus and her fake dicks addiction and, like, yeah. just niggas putting dildos everywhere and pulling out fake dicks. And, like, why are you guys obsessed with dicks? Like, don't you have dicks like that you can observe on your own? Time? Maybe they don't. That's a good question. You know what I mean? Maybe they're unsatisfied with their girl. Unsatisfied with their dicks? Unsatisfied with your dicks? Call this number. <laughs> that sounds like a Maury episode. Like, yeah. Are you unsatisfied with your dick? Call 1-800-B-I-G-D-I-C-K. You see a girl looking at your phone, you're like, who the fuck are you calling? <laughs> uh, it's Jake from State Farm. <laughs> <laughs> she sounds hideous. Yeah. Maury, I'm unhappy with my man's dick. Yo. Yeah, yo. Which would you rather your girl take you on Maury for un- like un- like... Child support? A kid that's like, like a kid that's not yours or a weak dick? Oh, man. Damn, <sighs> Maury come out with the envelope is like, uh, it's been determined. You do have weak dick. You know, uh, I run backstage. Like, no. no. It's Cameron chasing you and shit. No. Like, yo. Cameron's like, so yeah, what's your weak dick? What you He's running? He's like, yo, I know you ain't got no stamina, nigga. What's what your weak ass dick, dick nigga? Bro, you Cut fucking cool, bro. Bro, you weak dick, nigga. No. Shit, nigga, falling something land on his dick. He's like, what? But what matter anyway, nigga? Because that shit weak as fuck. Y'all don't know me. Y'all don't know what kind of day I had. Y'all don't know about my dick game. Like, I don't really be banging it out, but I be giving long sensual strokes. Oh, fuck out of excuses, excuses. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Living down a kid that's not yours is kind of like you could live down weak dick. Like you could be like, yo, I can take Viagra, I can take Cialis, mm-hmm. but like if you got another kid by another nigga and that's and the, you're claiming him for mad years on yeah. some Russell Simmons shit, like, like just looking stupid, Russell Wilson shit, like yo, we're gonna play football, a little future. <laughs> well, I think that's different. It's different if like you're, you're rich. aware. Also, you're rich. It's different if like you're always just looking at this kid like something ain't right. What's up, man? Why is this nigga Asian? Like what the fuck? <laughs> 
<laughs> Why is she Puerto Rican and I'm Dominican and this How little nigga look like fucking <laughs> the golden child? Like, like, what's going on? I'm like, I have my doubts. <laughs> Remember when Carlton uh, got the girl pregnant on Will on uh, Fresh Prince when they never even had sex? Because mm. mm. you know Carlton wasn't getting no buns. He's getting no buns. Did he come out? Is he? Um... No, he's married. Really? Yeah. Did we, I feel like we discussed this before, but like I really thought Alfonso Ribeiro was... We talk about the yeah. same... I broke it down the other day. We talk about the same 35 things on this podcast every, every episode. We just we're just giving you updates. We're just doing it different. We talk about... Uh, what do we talk about? Dicks? Pipples, dicks. <laughs> the Bronx, of course. Gang, yep, gang. Yep, PX, yep, you know what it is. All day. Uh, sure you know. This is the guy that died, the little... The guy from Different Strokes. Uh, Gary Coleman. Gary talking about him. How yeah, fucking and, died. And by Webster. extension, Emmanuel Lucen. Yeah, yes. Yep. What else do we talk about? We talk about uh, uh, NYPD being assholes. NYPD being assholes. Cops being assholes in general. Graffiti. Mike mm-hmm. Francesa. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Islands. Yeah, of course. Bumble clocks. You know what I'm saying? We're giving you authenticity, fam. You want us to sit up here and talk about fucking golf for an hour, nigga? Oh, soon. Don't worry. Soon as our money gets up. We'll yeah, oh, yeah. I'll talk, we'll talk about anything. We'll be up there QVC like this concealer is just the top of the line. And if you call right now, Jesus, tell them what they're going to get. You get not one, not two, but three highlighters. That's right. Three highlighters, two for your cheeks, one for your butt. We're going to go to Nora in uh, Georgia. Nora, how are you feeling today? Yeah, I really like these highlighters. Um, uh, I'm going to cop a few. Um... Uh, do you First just said that I could get them for the low? She's not. She's gonna say I'm a cop a few for the low. <laughs> <laughs> she's all been right, watching us for too long. <laughs> that's I love how, these guys. That's the dumbification of America because of uh, us. We are. <laughs> wait till the, the president gets on. He's gonna like gang gang. Yo gang gang. Yo it's yo. I was two twelve and with Kim Jong Un. He wants that smoke. He's finna get it. I was gonna be like, why is he? Why is, why he, is, he, why is he talking why like, like that? that? Why is he talking like he's a member of ASAP Mob? What is he talking? It's like, where's my raft? <laughs> please, please don't touch my raft. <laughs> please don't touch my raft. God, yo, that song goes so hard, bro. Yeah, I almost crashed the whip. ASAP Trumpy over here, you know what Yeah, what's good, ASAP Trumpy. I got the new off whites coming with Virgil. You dig? You gotta have the Air Force One just says on the back, like, Donald. <laughs> Niggas Ty says, fashion killer, Mad Long. <laughs> with Mad Ace. <laughs> yo, get the thing of the fuck out of here. I'm gonna come with the wild Supreme Limited. I'm like, how do you... We should ask Rocky, like, yo, could Donald Trump be down with ASAP, man? And then that will determine whether or not he's actually permanently problematic. Nah, he's not enough swagger for ASAP. Like, imagine he's ASAP Rowley, he got the oh, tape on the back of it. Oh, the tie ASAP Rowley, going to be tight. Like, like yo, my nigga, where's your Balenciaga's at? My nigga, what the fuck is you doing? Where's your, where's your RAF? Don't need a RAF, got mag. You know what I'm saying? Where's your Rick Owens, nigga? Got the mag on my head. Come on, son. Keep that mag on me, you know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Wernberger. Yeah, that's your president. You shouldn't vote <sighs> for him. If you, don't, if you don't agree with his policy, you shouldn't have voted for him. I... Uh, uh, Voted the same way I vote every year mm-hmm. for Christ. Okay, I respect that. You wrote in Christ on the ballot? No, no, no. I wrote Blood of Christ. Blood of Christ. Ballot. I wrote I it in the actual Blood of Christ. Yeah. My mother has a collection of it. There's a whole barrel of it in the back of my mother's house. I don't know yeah. where she gets it from. <laughs> I mean, I voted for Hillary, dog. I did everything possible. I voted. I filled in the paper. I put you, a sticker of her. You, as a man, voted for a woman? I mean, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I respect a woman in a pantsuit. <laughs> I find it funny how a female asking about running the government. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just funny to me because if it was like, if I was asking you about your menstruation cycle, you know what I mean? <laughs> does You know what I'm saying? Does Cam Newton not have a media handler or I think Cam Newton has been being told that he's the fucking man since he was like 12 years old and that shit gets to you like you know what I'm saying like unless you got people around you to be like yo man I get chill you know what I mean? I don't feel like he has that. I feel like he has a, a group of friends that's like, yo, yo, you the man, Cam. Yo, you that nigga, bro. Yo, son, you was this close to the Super Bowl. I, 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 I. Get up there and say whatever the fuck you want to say. Because remember when he walked away from the podium? Yeah, yeah. Like, he don't give a fuck. But he'll just say whatever. But it's like, bro, it's going to come at the detriment to your, you know. Yeah, you just got to listen. Endorsements and shit like that. Just there's, check your mouth. There's some people who don't, who can't good. There's people who don't do good interviews yeah. and they avoid interviews at all costs. Then you have other people who belligerent, you know, like they're like, I have to do an interview, mm-hmm. but I'm saying it as little as possible. Cam does terrible interviews and loves giving interviews. Like, they're like, I yo, understand. you don't gotta say nothing. He's like, all right, I'll say something. Who got a mic? Yo, Even his right. apology video for the female thing is like one minute and 48 seconds, which is one minute and 38 seconds too long for me. I like, know that shit, give me yeah. a fucking break, dog. And it's a new, your stupid language emoji. It's crazy. I feel like he just does press conferences to show us, like, what Dick Tracy outfit he's going to show up in next. Yeah. Or, like, what romper he's going to wear. I mean, 
think it's a Dick Tracy. I thought you were going to say Dick Rompers, but yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I think it could be. He just wants to show off his little fashion and shit. You know what I'm saying? He's a fashion killer. That little fashion, the females line wasn't necessary, man. That was unnecessary. Yeah, it was, like, that was Like, that was like, ugh, I don't even know. That's like... I mean, that's like, usually like mongoloid or something. Like, yeah, why would you, like, it's like you it's like watch a way to use that word. It's mad it's, retro. Like, like you could have just said woman. Like, that's the most, and even then, it's like so problematic. But like, like, why would you even say that at all about a? Yeah, like Short is just a reporter, like in a pit of reporters. Like, why don't you just answer the question? But hey, I'm no athlete, except when it comes to rolling blunts. Are you? Are you? Uh, I'm an expert bro roller. What's the fastest you rolled a blunt? <sighs> Fam, I rolled the blunt. Yo, my whole gang is my witness. Never sober gang. You already know what it is. One nine six. I rolled a blunt in a pure snowstorm. Ooh, broke the weed up, stuck my head under the steep tech, zipped it all the way up, and was in there in the in the steep tech chamber, breaking up the bud, breaking up the Dutch. Rolled it, wrapped it. You know what I'm saying? Like cooked it. You know what I'm saying? With the lighter and mm-hmm. shit to dry it out a little yeah, bit. Yeah. yeah. And it smoked that shit, and it was amazing. And wow. niggas was like, damn, dog. That's like a hood weed Hanukkah. Fam. Niggas was like, yo, he did it. It's like Nino Brown and all turkeys. You just came out the steam tech with the blow over your head, like, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. It's like a Chilean miner escaping the miners. You're like, yeah. Nero has emerged with the punch. Oh, my God. We come laid down it from to the, titty. Come down from the mountain with the blunt. <laughs> yo. yo. Could God make a blunt so perfect, even he couldn't smoke it? Think about it. I'm coming to you so that we may get Liddy to Titty. Like, Yo, is it possible for a titty to be too Liddy? <laughs> like, how high are you? I'm like, don't worry, I'm just getting started. I'm just getting started, my nigga. Nigga's like, Yo, the bus not even lit. I was like, I know, I'm just, I've been breathing exhaust from the back of this car for a minute. Like, <laughs> I feel a little warm. <sighs> Have you ever got high off some weird shit by accident? Uh, let me see. When we were younger, like in first grade and shit, like we used to burn regular leaves. Mm hmm. And just like we thought it was weed, just being stupid kid <laughs> shit. <laughs> and one of my friends, like, he got like some sort of toxic something from that. So no, like, nigga, ate poison ivy and shit. His like, whole face turned into a boil. Like, this is dumb. We used to try to set double A batteries on fire. <laughs> Why? No home training. No, yeah. you Just, you know. Oh, take man. A battery with a little piece of foil, make some, make some sparks happen. You know oh, I mean? man. Shout out to Danny Amacho for putting me onto weed when I was fucking 12 years old. I might be 6'10 right now if it wasn't for that. Does, re- does weed really stunt your growth or is it that a lie? Not, you remember how I said there's like 35 things we talk about on the show? That's one, that's of, one? That's one of the that's constant themes of this show. Your constant lie that weed stopped you from being super tall. Damn. You need to embrace that. It wasn't in the papers for you. Yeah, God but, said you can either be tall or be on this podcast. I mean, I'm I'm above average, but nah, you could have been like old detour. Yeah, like you could have been like. But then it's like goofy. Like I see, I be seeing niggas that are like six, 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 seven, six, eight, and but I'm just I like, mean, you could have been in like even at that, you could have, you probably was decent enough to be in the NBA, and I've been heckling the shit out of you, we've been flaming you. Be, <sighs> so I'll be coming I'm, off the bench for the next. you be like, yo, this nigga Mel is fucking this whack. Fucking bum. This nigga's fucking whack, you yo, talk, nigga. We yo, talk about him tonight on Jesus and Peril. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, nigga, that fucking a podcast is 9 o'clock, nigga, pull up. Niggas, nigga, your shit is just whack and shit. <laughs> we interview you for the show. I'm just not interested in the interview. I'm like, so you like playing basketball and shit? I'm like, yeah, yo, this shit is pretty lit. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy that I made the, I made it the leap from the high school to the you NBA from the Bronx and shit. And shit. Like, yeah, I mean, I do a little reggaeton, you know what I'm saying? Keep it to my roots and shit, a little dembo, you know what I'm saying? Some, some there was anyone music? you could uh, play ball with, like, from the past, I guess? Like. Um... I would say Bob Cousy so I could break that Yakubian devil's ankles. All right, what do you want your rainbow to say? Um, suck my dick from the back? All right, yo, peace. All right, give it up. Kid no. Yo, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. Uh, can I sign a table? No, no, no. Nah? That's, 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 that's for what? Oh. We're going to set up the new table, and it's going to have different areas, depending on how poppy you are. Losers. Losers. <laughs> Winners. Please go to the left. Glowing up. We're going to have people like network, oh. <laughs> follower counts. It's going to be like a whole bar. Like rich niggas, rappers. <laughs> I'm like, uh, there's a section for you there. Uh, you can sign underneath Diddy. You're popping. <laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy? That Remember when Jesus was coming out, and they had that little Lucy paper that everybody was writing on when they were coming into the studio? Yeah, yeah. We basically have two of those. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And they're way more iconic. We should each take one home. That's yeah. true. That's true. We got none. We yeah. don't, I mean, we're going to have like four more, so. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to build a house out of them shits eventually in Calabasas. I was thinking the same thing, but I was thinking in 138th Street. Like, I was just going to have them boarded together in the house. <laughs> Get away from my boxes! <laughs> ah! With my cans! Ah! Get my cans! Instead of a sneaker collection, I'm going to have a, cu- a can collection. Yo! 
Hey, hey Miro, <laughs> but you never seen a 2016 Sprite can. Ah, look at this, nigga. I got a tab. It's an intense stock. <laughs> <laughs> and nigga, you ever seen one of these? It's a can of Surge. Ooh, that's retro. That's vintage. How much you pay for that? Yo, I know you don't even know, daddy. Yo, oh, man. You're fucking dope. I'm trying. <laughs> that just reminded me of the fucking guy that tied his a chain around his head and drove his car off like right there on 149th on the Bronx god the damn Bronx. listen the Bronx and the Bronx you gotta go weird. out you got, your man pulled up in the car <laughs> in front of the mechanic place yep. and went and tied a, a chain, chain to around. a pole yep. and you know everyone in that garage was like hey what is he Bobby what are you What's, doing what are you doing Bobby, that's a hookah hose? And your man went back in the car, yep. tied the shade around his neck. You know niggas was like, nah, he wildin'. He's wildin'. He's not really going, nah, 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 nah. And you know how the yeah, like, Dominican niggas like, are very apathetic and they're probably just watching like, loco, you, what the fuck he's doing? Yeah. He's, he's got a chain on his neck. Bobby, you on at lunch already? Oh, let's see. And your man was, they probably looked at them and was like, skirt, skirt, skirt. He had like, Niggas that just came off like a fucking. Oh my <laughs> god! Drop it down there. It was like, go on, yo! oh shit! That nigga started fucking playing baseball with the shit. <laughs> <laughs> niggas doing the wild soccer kicks. He's bobbing, niggas he's dribbling the shit on their knees. Yo, the Mexican niggas in the back started playing soccer with the shit. Like, yo, what are they trying to wake on Gatas, way? Yo, shit. Oh, that's dark. Yo, shout out to all my Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? We sending you some bread. You know what I'm saying? Hold tight. Do we? Yeah. Um, we will. Why? What happened to them? They had the earthquake. When? Did you hear about the earthquake in Mexico? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm two seasons behind. I just found yeah. out about the uh, Puerto Rico. Yeah, no, Puerto, no Mexico's spoilers. fucked up. No spoilers. Yeah, Mexico's fucked up. Puerto Rico's fucked up. So yeah, no, if you I have any hard things, I only mention them to let you know we are living in critical times, hard to deal yes. with. Yes, and it's time for you to come to the Lord. Teach these devils. Just throwing it out there. You know what I'm saying? Preach, my brother. From my auntie. I'm pretty sure that was her Facebook <laughs> her, 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 her shiny Facebook gift mm-hmm. that she left you in the Good way. morning, <laughs> sinners. <laughs> like, no, that's not the proper way to address us, nah, auntie. Nah, man, come on, let me live, ma. Yo. She'll hit you with like a Facebook update at like 8.59 on a Sunday. And you'll probably be like, like why, are you, why are you not in church? What? Why? You answering Facebook, you're not answering what? the Lord? You're like, oh, Jesus, oh, here we go. God. Here we go. Even God is like, God, God, give my mom be what's happening to me like, yo, are you going to church today? Like, I'm on my way to church. You should go to church. I'm like, nigga, I just rolled my third blind. I, when my mother's like, you know, I'm like, oh, just you go and tell me what happens. <laughs> <laughs> you go and take notes. It's like, I seen the show already, mom. <laughs> come on. They never, uh, you never go to church and they come with like new breaking Some new shit, shit remixes like, and shit. Breaking new God mail. Guess oh, what? shit. You can walk on water now. Yo! It's never that. Bitch, I walk, walk across the water. That's a dope album, by the way. What if you can walk across water, but like you just get mad tired and shit? Then when you do if it's it. a, if it's just like regular walking, like you can yeah. walk on water, but it's but just it's like walking on the road. Water. He's just like, damn. You like, just lay down on the uh, in, in the Hudson, like, like fuck. I am. I think this through. I'm My take phone's like four percent now. Damn. I gotta walk all the way back. There's no chargers. <laughs> fuck yo. Where you gonna sit down at? You are wet. Cold. <laughs> I think you gotta be one of those little folding chairs and just sit down in the middle of the house and like, all right, I'm gonna take a break here, rehydrate. Catch my breath. You know what I'm saying? Tanker comes out like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hook yourself onto a tugboat. <laughs> oh, I mean, tugboats. If you could walk away or read people's minds or predict the future, which one of those? Uh, uh, reading people's minds is mad intriguing. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because you always want to know what a person's really thinking, but predicting the future is like, bruh, like, you're winning. Like, that's what Biff Tannen did in Back to the Future. Like, he fucking got the almanac. He predicted the future. He didn't predict the future. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, in a roundabout way. You know what I'm saying? But you don't be able to read people's minds? <clears throat> that would be lit, but I feel like that would drop me nuts. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I'd be like, oh, oh, word, nigga? Oh. Oh, I'm pussy? Oh, oh word? I'm pussy? Okay. <laughs> you just buy some shit at right age. like, this fucking punk. Pussy ass like, nigga. Just talking to Victor and shit like, yo, son, like, yo, you know what I mean? We got this shit popping off. Like, I'm mad excited about it. He's like, shut the fuck up, you fucking coward. God, fucking asshole. Fucking dickhead. <laughs> hate Dominicans, nigga. You're like, what? Why would you? Why, why do you think these things about me? What well, movie was that? With, was that Mel Gibson? When he was like, we, we could hear every woman's thoughts? Oh, wow. Yeah, was it was it? Well, what do women, uh, what do women want? What do women I think, think so. or some shit? Oh wow, that was an awful premise. Yo, Google was on it. It was like movie man can read women's minds. It's called What Women Want. Two thousand romantic fantasy comedy. Uh, Mel Gibson and Helen Hunt. Helen Hunt. God Helen damn. Hunt. Throwback. Throwback. 
God damn. I remember uh-huh. that name in uh <sighs> she, well, Wasn't she in Mad About You? She was. That was a uh, that's a very white show. Yeah, that was like, the one. I, I did nothing of that show. I would just see the promos, and I was like, "What is this? About? What is this about?" I was like, "Like, I actually watched an episode of that shit, and I was like, I didn't chuckle. I was like, is this a documentary? Like, I don't understand what this is." But like, shout out to Paul Reiser for, I guess, being rich. What's his net worth? Paul, he always write books and shit, right? No. Damn, why is Google Google's like predicting shit before I even type mm-hmm. it? This is kind of freaky. Paul Reiser. Oh, he's still alive. What's up to him? Mm-hmm. You got the bow tie face. No, 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 uh, 40 mil. 40 mil? Yeah. Yo, uh, see, I see shit like that and I feel better about our future because I'm like, yo, if niggas <laughs> if like Paul that is st- get 40 mil? still sitting on 40 mil? Paul Ross is at home like, really, nigga? <laughs> really? <laughs> what? All right. <laughs> you, you know what type shit, of lifestyle I lead, think nigga? Shit, you know, he, he was in Beverly Hills Cops, Aliens, and Marion Man. My Two Dads. Oh, shit. Yes. Mad which, About You. Which we were going to reboot? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. He's hosted the Grim- Grammys and the Emmys. Wow. Wow. My two dads, what was the premise of that? It was like one of the one dad had one dad was like a single dad and like the mom died or some shit like that. I don't know like the specifics, but like Who knows? it was two dudes raising a kid and it was like wacky two men raising a baby. Men don't know how to be father, but caretakers. Ha ha wacky dacky. We're gonna do a remake of My Two Dads. We're mm-hmm. gonna be a, we both knocked up Oprah. Okay. She shows up with the kid one day and is like, here, y'all figure it out. I'm off this. And neither one of them wants to bounce because whoever stays and raises a kid gets some of that inheritance. So it looks like we love the kid, but we just scamming. We're just scamming OD. Like, yo, love you, little nigga. Like, yeah. yo, can't wait to like, turn yo, 18. Who's my mother? We're like, we tell you later. Yo, we're going to get some life insurance out for you early. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like hijinks. Like, I kidnapped the kid. And just open the door. You're like, Jesus. I'm like, damn, damn, damn nigga. They caught me. <laughs> Yeah, put a collar on the nigga. Shock, <laughs> nigga leaves a perimeter, gets a shock. Ah, 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 nah, 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 get, back uh, over here. get back in the house, Jamel. Come get on, stop back playing. Over here, little old. Come why, on. Why y'all be calling me little old? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that shit. Nigga. Your father's Odell Beckham. <laughs> <laughs> Odell Beckham meets uh, Oprah Winfrey. Sweet. That'd be a good uh, Odell Beckham, Odell Win- a cop uh, movie. Odell Beckham and Oprah. Oprah Winfrey. Oprah like questioning niggas. Odell dancing behind them and shit. And Giants are all in four. Oh damn! The season is over. Is it? The season's over. You think so? I give up. I now use this as an excuse to uh, feel better than people and say I'm boycotting the NFL. I'm I just, mean, I'm just like, how do you watch that? It's so graphic and it's, brutal. It's and brutal. Like the, the whole kneeling thing. It's like, awful. I'm just off it. It's a garbage uh, product. It's terrible. It's a terrible product. If the if the Giants were four and zero, they got be like NFL, <laughs> NFL. Maybe me, you, and Victor <laughs> with like right, shirt to shirt to shirt, uh, shaved to our chest. With our pubic uh, chest hair. Like, NFL, yeah! Are you ready for some football? football? Oh! Shaking hands with the nigga that said Hitler's Obama and shit. Like, yo, Dean fucking... These colors don't run. Think? There's a picture of us tailgating on the Confederate flag. Like, yo, yeah! At a Bills game and shit. Like, fucking throwing a dildo on the field. I get the wild text from Nessa. Like, really, Jesus? I'm like, what? what? Really? What's the really? problem? Really? What's the problem? It's like a video of me spearing, like, uh, one of those boxing dummies <laughs> with a Kaepernick. I'm like, nah, nigga. Niggas was just it drinking. Was, it was, it was, too much man, fun, you know it was just lit, bro. You, you know, know how it is. Saying? You know I ain't mean nothing by it. Tell Come Captain on, man. Stand this my man. Saying, you know, this is my man, Tim Grand. You know what I mean? <laughs> just, just be weird. Yeah. You know I mean? Nah, never that. We don't sell it out. Never. Never sell it out. Never. Actually, it's pretty easy not to sell out. You just don't do stuff. Yeah. Like, certain stuff, we've been offered some stuff, and it was just like, nah. Nah. This is not a good... This is not a good brand. Yeah. No, we're not doing um a Gap commercial with Milo. No. Shout out to fucking Victor for, for keeping us out of harm's way for so long. And also shout out to Kenya Barris for the jewel yesterday uh, when we spoke to him. Where he was like, yo, the best thing about being popping in Hollywood is saying no to shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And doing shit that you want to do and not being saying like, damn, I got to do this fucking Pixar, you know I mean, Jamaican crab movie for a fucking check because I'm pop. Like. No, I'm going to do that one, though. <laughs> I'm going to do that have you all tight. <laughs> I don't like Jesus' accent. I'm like, nigga, this shit's not for you. <laughs> this shit's for the niggas. Cut the Pixar check, dummy. Yo. You think I can? Look who eat your fucking pear. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Man's Marv. You know what's not Marv? My bank account. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Top left. I'm top left. <laughs> <laughs> all right? For too long, life has been cheesing me. That's right. We are just using them all wrong. Yeah, right? who cares? Everyone's in Scarborough is like, they're banned. They're banned. They I'm can't like, come back here. You can't ban us from Scarborough. I don't care what Joe Scarborough says. Come on. 
Oh, is he he's, 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 he's definitely married. Okay. He, has a, he has a little circle of glasses. <laughs> does he have a little circle of glasses? <laughs> he does have, but he also he's one of those white guys that has too much free time. That's why he has like a band. It's like him and James Dolan. Like no one wants to. Damn. He has a band. Yeah, he oh, just dropped the album. God, that's a thing. fucking album. Nah, man. Mm-hmm. Joe Scarborough and the what? And it's just Joe Scarborough and the somethings. Joe Scarborough album. It's a uh, Joe Scarborough. It's the album is called uh, Before I Die. No, I should call Mystified. It's called Mystified. Mystified. Oh man, that sounds like a Carlos Santana it's a song. Debut EP. Joe Scarborough. Oh no. Oh no. Got the wild. The art. If you look at the cover of the album, it looks like a painting you'd buy from Sky Mall. Damn dog. I mean, I don't see any music. Oh, okay. Let's uh, let's take a listen here. Oh God! I just realized something. He uses his music on his show. Oh, oh God. How tacky! Wow. How tacky! How brilliant! Which means we gotta start having grind boys. That's right. These and Mero interludes. And what is your uh, bachata uh, performing name? Papi Nalgas. Hey. hey. Because that's what I put in mommy. I put it in your Nalga. Hey. Because when I send you to the Dominican Republic to get a new boat, that means I have access to your ball hole now, mommy. Ooh. That's my peanut butter now. Can't so nasty. Is that the name? Of, that's my peanut butter now. <laughs> Yo, but um, what were you just saying about this guy? Fucking um, Joe Scarborough. He got Joe Scarborough. Album. Yeah. So it's like, like how basketball players like I'm also rappers. Like, like, a like lot of white people. You, yeah. Like I also play the acoustic guitar. Like, like and stop then it. It. stop, dog. Like, Michael Jordan said, stop, stop. Get some help. <laughs> like, yo, dog, nobody wants to hear shit. That just sounded like a commercial for a laptop driving down a highway. Yeah. Like, that's not, exactly what this shit sounds like. Not for a laptop and driving down the highway. For a laptop in a fucking car, car driving. driving down the highway. Like, I'm a laptop. I'm yeah. driving. I'm a yeah. Matthew McConaughey's in the passenger seat. Like, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, whose man's is this? Who approved this? I watched every season of Mad Men, and I was like, and you would see those meetings, and it was like, this is a terrible idea, Don. Mm-hmm. And niggas just scrap it. I'm like, yo, how many terrible ideas? How bad do the ideas have to be that something like this will get through? I mean, he, if it's his own album, it's put up his own money. <sighs> like, who's going who gonna to check him, Who's going to check him? Who's going to check him, boo? Not even me, a persistent he who showed up with a very bloody face after a terrible face lift. <laughs> what did you say? She's looking Mika like what? What's her last name? Mika Bleedzinski or some <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> oh. Yo. Shout out to, uh, shout to Joe, Joe Scarborough uh-huh. and Mika for normalizing Donald Trump for like years. Mm-hmm. And then as soon as he dissed Mika, that's when Don, that's when Joe, Joe started like, caping. He like, was like, nah, he's dangerous. He shouldn't be in the White House. Oh, that was your man. So. Oh, where? What happened? See how it is? How niggas get a girl and switch up on niggas? Mm-hmm. 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 I'm on Trump's side here. He's like, yeah, now it was me and Joe's grabbing mad chokes and shit. You know what I'm saying? this bitch up. Now let yeah. him come to the club. He don't be in Mama Sushi no you more. You feel me? We used to go OD with the hookah. Come but on. He was smoking. He asked me for a new mouthpiece for the hookah. I was like, yo, <laughs> if I get hurt, the whole crew gets hurt. You know how we roll? Yo, gang, gang, gang shit. All right? <laughs> when I say top left, I mean the bubble over my lip. Fam, listen, we was in Howard Hill coming 98. She was Liddy. Can't even I talk say, about it. Should I say Howard Ho coming? <laughs> Niggas was out there. I was at the HBCU. I'm a white guy, but I still be seeing you. You know what I'm saying? Is. You dig? They get the folks and shit. <laughs> There's a picture of Joe Scarborough and um, fucking Donald Trump at Howard Homecoming in like 96, and they got like the Black Bart Simpson shirt. Yeah! They got the fucking African the American, American <laughs> college student shirt yeah. with the hat with the top. The shirt is tied on top. The sleeve. <laughs> Matt Slouchy looking like a TLC. <laughs> yo, with the 40 below. It's like, yo. It's a black thing. You would it's understand. a black thing. Nigga, I got the Puka Shell necklace and shit. He's with the rest of development. Like, yo. <laughs> Chilling with Jay Pinkett oh, and yeah, Tupac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nigga's singing. Like, yo. Donald Trump dancing to everyday people with no shoes on. <laughs> Mr. Window. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that would be the blackest thing he's ever done in his entire life, man. It really would. It, it, like, I don't even want to say it, but like, because it, it wouldn't. Would but it might happen. negate some of the shit he's done, but it can't. If some bitches, if some bitches, if some pictures, damn, looks sound the same. If some pictures, for all you rappers out there, pictures and bitches rap. Yeah, they rap. So there, put it out there, yeah. You, know, rapper, you, take. you can use it right there. Um, yeah, if some pictures came out like that, him, I mean, we didn't have to. He'd be like, how you people feel? You feel stupid now. I told you I bang with the blacks. Look. 
Look at me. I have the full Kente cloth outfit. I even have a kufi on. You guys never even chased my mac and cheese. Come on. I used four types of cheeses and don't give a fuck if you're lactose intolerant or whatever. It's Lady Two Titty. And I put breadcrumbs on top. Pamenko. Pamenko. <laughs> <laughs> I say no shorty really fucks with you if she makes you the panko breadcrumb yeah. jump off. You know what I'm saying? Not, Not the, just the old wonder, old ends of the wonder bread. Like, yeah, the, yeah <laughs> Yeah, the guy just kept old bread. I'm like, isn't that bread so stale and shit? That's not breadcrumbs, bro. What's it, what is that? She's like, why you, you, you always making all your face when I make food for you? I made you Velveeta slices for your lasagna. I'm like, oh, come on, ma. This shit ain't real cheese. I was like, yo, you, use, you, really, you really made spaghetti using shells? Like, that's not even the type of noodle, ma. Like, like what's on your noodle, ma? Shells? Am I fucking junior high again, ma? Like, what's really good? I enjoy a stuffed shell. Actually, no, that's not true, because I eat ricotta cheese and I shit my pants. Oh, Hold on, Seth Paul Mario Simmons. Hold you said you eat? Simmons. I'll eat a stuffed shell. Like, uh, oh, the big ones? Yeah, the big joints. You know what I'm saying? With the, with the ragout inside. But then I remember that shit comes out my ass in the same fashion. My mother, for some reason, she was teaching me how to cook. And she taught that was one of the things she taught me, uh, how to make stuffed shells. But while she was teaching it to me, there was the game where Reggie Miller hit those, like, Nine, how many? Uh, it's nine, but like, uh, nine points on like nine seconds or some shit like that. Three, I don't know, and my hands were like shaking because I was like, what the f-? Everyone else was like, what the fuck? My father's like yelling, and I couldn't finish the stuff in the shows. So I was like, oh, no, it's too traumatic. Too traumatized. <laughs> For three years, I couldn't see? look at Ricotta. See what you did, Reggie? You enforced, you, you fucking exacerbated his lacto- lactose intolerance, B. That Ricotta would have got him back on track. You fucked it up. Asshole. <laughs> And Cheryl's a better hooper than you. Oh! Yeah. Oh, I said spicy. it. I said it. Why are you just throwing... You just throwing... You <laughs> just throwing darts over here. You know what I'm saying? It's the God. We needed to make a movie about uh, competitive dart playing, but make that shit like wild dramatic. Like, yeah. Have it focused in on a needle. Like, <sighs> like over the top with Sylvester yeah. Stallone? Yeah. Like, yo, like it's a nigga mad extra. In, yeah. yeah. It's like, like Michael Bay shit. Yeah. But that's like bullet time. So you throw the dart and it like freezes. <sighs> boom. He's like... <laughs> And like smoke is coming from behind the dart and this, shit. You know what I'm saying? There's a mad dramatic scene. Like you're my manager and shit. You're like, yo, you gotta go in this. You gotta win this tournament. Do it for your son. And then my son's in the corner crying and shit. Like, like he's tied up. Daddy. He's tied daddy. up and like some terrorists have him. And you're outside the building. You have like one dart. And you throw it like up four stories. And it goes through the window. And it, it's like a light switch. It's highly specific. I'm like, yeah. at the count of three, kill the switch. And you're like. <sighs> he's just, they you lick the top do the of it. Yeah, it's like. <sighs> They just do the wide tight shot of the bead of sweat down, dripping down my brow. And it's just like you throw it, and it's just like you just hear like high pitched noise, and nothing else. You're like, scooby doo pop pop, and it then goes slap. Scooby doo pop pop. Oh, yo, shout out to um, wow, I don't even know who I want to shout out, but like really shout out to Dykeman because I feel like you've given Dykeman nine shout outs this oh, episode. Man. It was just, it was just, I had a great time. Right, we we get it. Get it. Get it. Get it Damn, Dykeman and Miro is the death of the brand. Yeah. <laughs> they're gonna come in here, they're gonna be like, yeah, man, Mama Sushi, blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> Niggas just out here. Yo. Niggas ate an idle fucking baby. Yo, your babe, idle fucking baby was in rare form yesterday, just all types of karaoke all types of wilding out, like just mad happy. It made me happy to see him happy, though. That's good. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, knowing where he comes from and, like, his, his, his struggle, you know what I'm saying? Like, shining shoes in the town square to, like, being, like, you know, the bell of the ball at Mama Sushi. That's pretty good. <laughs> you lit. should, you should uh, mentor him. I should, right? You Just should take him under the wing. Take like, him under the wing. Come here. Be yeah. my fifth child. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Babysit my kids. I come through and all oh, my kids are smoking hookah. Listening to fucking El Alfa El Jefe. That'd be, I mean, that's a good babysitter job I imagine I don't know several of the words you just said I P- imagine P.O. on like fucking care.com and you see his profile oh my god Charles in Charge reboot with I know fucking baby yo P.O. in Charge P.O. oh <laughs> go, man somebody make this already <laughs> oh yo wow who's his buddy Lembeck <sighs> fat boy SSE fat boy SSE <laughs> Listen, we this is the show writes itself, baby. Yeah. The show writes itself. Yo, we super producers, my nigga. We just haven't produced anything yet. But we just like, yeah, I know, like the, 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 the it's around the corner. 
So line up now because be you know what I'm saying? we're gonna be showrunner of the uh, you know we're gonna make it we're gonna make the same show but for different channels mm-hmm. and they're gonna be like did you guys collude on this I'm like I don't even talk no, to no, them no, no more they're like it's the same fucking show I'm like what do you, how, how do you figure how do it's you, the same show how do you figure they're like yo it's a show about they're like, yo, rats they're solving crimes look there's a picture of y'all niggas sitting in the fucking the writing room in the Wendy's nigga I'm like trying nah, to get recognized my show is about rats fighting crime his is about mice that work for the feds it's different so it's very it's different, different okay I'm saying the only thing that has to do in common is the rodents that could easily that be can changed change, you know what I'm saying you know? that can change to like ham hey, sirs no no they actually have to stay the rodents because it's very intrinsic okay, to okay, the whole okay, thing okay, so. yeah y'all want the show or not huh I'm at BT I'm like so peep it they're black rats pull up with the brakes truck at this point, I feel like feel like people should be just be doing that regardless. Like, yo, just pull up with the fucking brink truck, bro. We we provide fire content. Like by accident, nigga. Like we'll be out in the street and just like hop on Instagram or just do whatever and just fucking provide you with enjoyment. Yeah. So you're welcome. Yeah, I mean, you know, and it's literally seven days a week, pretty much. Because even when we're not recording, that we are available in some format. You know what I'm saying? So like, if you didn't catch up, you can catch up during the weekend. You know what I'm saying? And if your football game is whack on a Sunday, you can switch over to Vice or go on On Demand and watch our shit. You feel me? Because I know a lot of niggas got them shits on the DVR. Binge watch them. Binge watch them. Binge, binge smacked. Be, um, that's what they should call yeah. it. That's what Vice should call it. Be like, yo, binge smacked Saturdays and mm-hmm. they show all the back to back fight shit. You know what I'm saying? Back to back. But like, back to back. Like, niggas is fighting at the G bar. I'm telling you right now, New Year's. Viceland has to run every episode of Diz and Meryl from the beginning to the end Ooh. as a marathon. Because remember when they do it? Remember when back be... in the day, we used, we, niggas used to do a Twilight Zone marathon on mm-hmm. New Year's Day? Mm-hmm. The show was like fucking 24 hours? Mm. Do that. Shows a half an hour. Divide that by 172. Divided by 30 plus. Uh, that means take a, a week. That means a, whole, that means a whole nother key. They'd have to take like a week to show every episode. Oh, you got you ain't got nothing else on the channel. Do it. Come on, do it. Come on. Why do not? It. I just want that if I turn on Viceland, that niggas is on Viceland at all times. Just during the Christmas time. You yeah. just want it in the background. Yeah. So like, when you go to visit other people's house, you'll be like, oh wow, look at I oh wow. Oh, oh, so a TV show. It's so a TV How show. Embarrassing. <laughs> oh man. I wanted to be low key. Sorry. Oh. A lot of people you don't know me. So Oh please I, I I'm I sorry. Didn't even have a I was looking for the game. For sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I just happened to slip by Viceland. They're like, why are you still on? I was like, no, I'm just saying I don't I'm just saying. I, I don't remember this. They're episode. like, nigga, ESPN is thirty six, this is one sixty one. What the fuck I'm is this? I'm saying, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just saying. That's I don't a, know, you can, a good joke here. Your control is a little glitchy. I don't know. I mean. <laughs> oh, that's right. Gas on yourself. It's like May said. Uh, that's right. I map, uh, rock my own shit. He was driving around dropping his own album. You have to. You have to. You got to believe in yourself, baby, because God's working on all of us. We're all riding on horses. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, it's just what it is, baby. Listen, Hope. man, you just got to live your life, bro. That's what it is. You could take advice from people. You can take other people's opinions into account, but at the end of the day, what's in your heart is what matters. And the reason they don't make erasers for hearts... Why? It's because who you love and who you're born wanting to be with... It's not a mistake. It's not a mistake. It's not a mistake at all. <laughs> the eraser flip, yeah, I didn't see it. You, if you don't have the eraser flip, it don't really work, dog. <laughs> it don't really... Dog. Oh, man. I thought that was Victor when he opened the door, but it's not. We almost out of here, baby. Yeah, nigga. It's been episode 83. You know, there is illustrious guests. We're still doing Bodega Dreams. Dreams. You know what I'm saying? So please. Such. Download the Square Cash app. If you haven't already, we've been telling you for like 20 episodes in a row. Uh-huh, Don't uh-huh, fuck up. Uh-huh. Download the app. You know what I'm saying? Holler at us with, at the Bodega Boys account. Don't holler at us fucking at Jesus Nice or at the Kid Mero. Mm. Holla at the Bodega Boys account and tell us what, what you your dream for. is. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Dling. That's all, baby. Also, bad news. Sorry. Uh, be- dead ass. Not mm-hmm. because of our, because of situations out of our control. We have been forced to cancel the Phoenix show. Yeah. But we're going to reschedule. Sorry, we're going to make it up to you. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Listen, it's good business, nothing, baby. And nothing to do with us. Fam, we don't even know what Phoenix is. We would have loved to go. We show, we, listen, you, you know show up, If you give us a hot pocket and a warm moto, we'll perform anywhere. That's but it. We just, it was a situation. Uh, you know, things were happening. You know what I mean? Situations. It happens, baby. It's Hollywood, baby. You know what I'm saying? We're just trying our best. We're trying to live our best life. <laughs> hey, like Tiger said, hey, it's just entertainment, dog. Just at the end of the day, you know, we just want to make sure no one gets hurt and everyone just has a good time. You know? So. 
Oh, man. But yes. Shout out to Bodega Hive. I know some of y'all asking where's the merch. Now, I don't know. Stop asking me that. We're going into 2017, leaving that all behind. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Victor is actually busting his hump right now to provide you Bodega Hive members with the merch that you so desperately crave. Yes. But so next time you see him in the street, pay homage. We're getting the blockchain together. Mm -hmm. 2018, we're going to have everything popping. Bodega Boys Incorporated. We're going to have the t-shirts, the store. Mm -hmm. We're going to have the tour. Mm -hmm. Everything. You're not going to have to ask questions. You know what I'm saying? Have access to us anymore. You're gonna have, it's, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna We're gonna like, have our own sponsor hookahs at I know baby shop. Fam. You know what I'm saying? All We're that. gonna have assistance who got assistance. You, you know what I'm me? saying? She's gonna be litty. You know what I mean? She's going to be the tittiest of litties. Litty <laughs> titty litties. Litty titties. It's the name of my new sports bar. Litty titties. Litty titties. <laughs> it's the only Irish bar with the the big chills with the big melons. Litty titty lass. Litty titty. Lass. Litty titty. <laughs> For the girls with the big clovers. Yeah. Yeah. Bagora. <laughs> Do you, do, do. Yeah. do you like a lass with the big potatoes? Oh. 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 Would you like to bake my potato mash it, perhaps? Mm. Just leprechauns with huge titties. Yeah. Oh. Would you like to eat my shepherd's pie? Eh? Mm. <laughs> to the end of your rainbow. Mm. <laughs> well, are there female leprechauns? I mean, if they're not, then they're, 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 they're grossly underrepresented and they should not be being paid less than their male cancer parts. Oh, look at fake Cam Newton Mirror over here. You know what I'm saying? There are no... Uh, there are no specific references in Irish folklore to there being female leprechauns. Mm. However, the word is not gender specific. So, okay. Yeah, man. And so anybody could be a leprechaun. Yeah. Anybody in the spectrum. Damn. There had to be. Maybe the leprechauns didn't identify. Oh, mm. maybe they were gender neutral. What if they're not binary? Because mm. we don't know how leprechauns produce, reproduce. Yeah, maybe they're asexual. Maybe they don't use sex for repercussion. Re they don't use sex for reproduction. They use it just for simulation. Mm. So if so, therefore, then is it even gender? Damn. Damn. There's some Irish people listening. To them, don't queer up my leprechauns. <laughs> that nigga's close to the brawly store right now. Like, what did he say? <laughs> the fuck is he just say? I'm upside down kissing his rock? Uh, leprechauns. With, why don't lepre leprechauns put gold at the end of rainbows? To hide it from you? What? I don't understand that. Like that they get that from? seems to me like a counterproductive. Yeah. Like, Why yo, you away your money? Here is my here's where my pot of gold is at. Just follow this rainbow. This is where all my bread is at. Like usually I just try to put it in a shoebox under my bed or like hide it from my wife and shit, but it doesn't work that way. Mm -mm. I definitely would not put a rainbow leading to my money. Fucking stupid leprechauns. Thank you so much. <laughs> what do you <laughs> I don't know, cause I got it, cause the Irish kid called me a nigger when I was like in the fourth grade, and I and I punched him in the face so hard, you bro. You should have just seen blood. your eyes. You were not here. You, I don't know. I don't feel safe walking through Woodlawn with you because you were just triggered. <laughs> so you're gonna see haggis and start spazzing. Yeah, so I was like, ah, fuck you, nigga. Now, for, uh, I got called a nigger by a kid in the fourth grade, an Irish kid, and I beat the brakes off that nigga. And then the principal tried to be like, your son is a troublemaker to my mom. My mom came through and was like, nah, fuck you. He's not a troublemaker. This little piece of shit called him a racial slur, and I'm taking him out of the school because you niggas deserve my motherfucking money. Yo! That's it. <laughs> oh, that was just a uh, math foul. Like, I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm never gonna say it. Uh, you know what? Because you are so fucked up and I've worked for you so long, I know exactly what you're about to say. And it's a good thing you did. All I'm gonna say is too soon. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yikes. Just know I'm training. I got some running shoes on. <laughs> Oh, everyone's like, what is he going to say? What was he going to say? You'll never know. You'll Do the never, math. You'll never know. You'll never know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wow, it all came back because this is episode 83. Mm -hmm. uh, Ronald I. Mundy, mm -hmm. who was a principal when I beat up Rodion, with, uh, shout out to Cicero, Terrence, and Renee, when we jumped him because he called okay. me the N-word. Uh, Ronald I. Mundy came over and was like, what are you kids doing? Why are you beating him up? And I was like, he called us niggers. And he was like, Oh, okay. Oh, he was like, all right, God. so uh, I'm just going to walk over here. Like, y'all deal with that. Y'all finish that. He was like, no, nah, I'm not dealing with that shit at all. Don't kill that nigga, but you know what I'm saying? Just... Anyway, PSA 3 was on Rylander Avenue. Rylander Avenue was a very Italian part of Pelham. Shut the, the Rylander? You know, Pelham Parkway over there. Oh, yeah. 
But, oh, hey. Hey. What whoa. the fuck is going on? What are you fucking, hey? Whoa, hey. whoa, whoa. One, two, three, four. I see way too many brown kids at the school. What the fuck is going on? This guy, what is? what are you from? What are you fucking gear guy in these? What the fuck is that? Here, come here, little brown kid. You got a little dot on your head. Oh, wow. That's permanent. Okay. I see All what's right. going on there. What the fuck is that? Whoa, why has this kid got the fucking uh, yoga mats wrapped up on top of his head? You're a wet sheet. <laughs> oh, wow. I can't believe that. Yeah, that was the school. That yeah. was like. Do we used to let us out for pizza? But you mm-hmm. had a note from your parents that right. said you could go get pizza, and because you know I was like the master forger. I'm like in fourth grade with like the jewelers. I <laughs> with the fucking monocle. This little hmm. I'm like cut. Yes, yeah, so, hmm. I'm like that's not right. My mother puts ninety percent pressure on her J's, and they slight left. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. right. No, I'm good. overdoing the letter. I'm like to whom it may, may concern, concern. Fine, beloved day we're having. May my son. The smart and beautiful Jesus engage in a bout of pizza-related joy at lunch. And they're like, that's not how your parents... Nah, I'm like, that's how adults talk. I'm, I'm in the fourth grade. I know how adults it's talk. It's like, nigga, adults don't talk like Steinbeck, nigga. Peace and blessings and salutations. <laughs> May my son enjoy Italian pizza. <laughs> like, I'm like, yes, yeah. my mother wrote that. Yeah. They're like, this is in your handwriting. I was like, no. How you, you feel stupid. I came out my mother, so half of her is me, so half my handwriting is going to look like her. <laughs> This is like, go, go, go eat your peanut butter sandwich and thing. I was like, fuck. Oh, man. I was like, I'm lactose intolerant. Anyway, I don't need this shit. I don't need this fucking shit, nigga. Fuck fucking pizza. Watch me kneel right here and take a shot on your floor during an anthem. Ooh. Brought it all back. Mm-hmm. And then episode 83. That's right. <sighs> you fucking clown cakes. What are we going to do in this episode 100? Damn. Probably, like, do some wild, like. We got to do something big for episode 100. We're going <laughs> to do a live podcast. For episode 100. We have to. And we bring, got, like, Diddy out and shit. We bro. got Mad Time plan too. That's what I'm going to Bring Whoopi right. Goldberg out yeah. and shit. Have to do, like, a twerking contest with, like, Cardi B and, like... Go Whoopi! Go, go Whoopi! Oh, go, go Whoopi. Whoopi! Fuck it up! Fuck it up, Whoopi! Fuck it up! She whipping, like, her dreads in Cardi's face. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! Yo! It's gonna be lit. Yo! They got the Wild Broke Boy drum. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. It's been your boy Jesus Nice, aka That's Jesus right. Nice, aka Chung Chipotle. Pockets you fat like Terry, Chris Daps will sling the Eli Lippy, Butchus Butchus Scully. Yeah. So that might know your bitch. Young Day Party, Young Hot Take, DJ Fuego, Mr. Nando's with a Rando, Mio Nervous and Vete Quattro, Mikko going off the Juve boss, and the right. Gonna be put up for 40, which is shorty. Yeah. Oh, swish. Aka, okay, don't talk to me in Uber Pool. Doug, I don't fucking know who you are. Stop talking to me. Hey, now, could you, pass, could you plug in? 10 this, minutes uh, late. Could you plug in my iPhone charger? Just go over your leg. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry, I don't want to talk to you, but. The reason why plus one got plus one, so don't make a fuss, son. This is Rossi, the Jamaican Jew. Mm. Hey, Mazel tov, man. Jermaine hey. Avocados, Young Pa, the Kiss of Mufasa, Young Chakunari without the Kunari. No. AK Chili Limon, left hand of reliever for the Yankees. Kalo, okay. Oh. Hey, Kalo, okay. Remember 07, and I got the midges on my face, and it was like the flies. Oh, and they Papi, my mouth. it was crazy oh, that time. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Vice K. Makuzaka, three phone Jones, Jesus H. Chuck, Jesus H. Machina, J. Chuck, Stanley Cups, the human Dr. Bonner's label. Dilute, dilute, dilute. dilute. I gotta get a choir to come sing. This is 240p. I like my Pino. Blurry. Blurry. I can't tell if that's her pom pom or, pu- or just pubic hair. Oh man. Either and way, listen, I, don't care. I already took, I already put the aspect ratio of the video up so I can see. I made it full screen. I still don't know what's going on. Mm-mm. I think these performers might be dead. I'm still gonna wank it to it. <laughs> DJ Will, I AK, you're listening to Watch FM. Up uh, next, you come four hours of Sheena Easton. Mm, damn. <laughs> the curry go. <laughs> Jesus Spicer. <laughs> Jamal Hasper. <laughs> the Marceline Dion. Random yeah. nephew. The Marino. You cannot contain. Oh, the human memory. Word to jaw. Young yeah. Aaron. The race of provocateur. Henry Budcross. Nelson Bang Della. Sergio can't see me. Vladimir Buffen. The human's world is melting in your mouth. Yeah. Mr. Bex on Decadent. Ricky Tiki Squaw. B. Mm-hmm. Greg Popovich. Cheer. More says with shut my hot the gun be not my copy, but I got that cool come ask anybody. Uh, the juice is oppressed, but your boy never is. Yeah, I am the hard damage. God damn. The Dun Dada Ganoush. No more cup of noodles. The Prince of Pecco. The Fashion Over Casting Over. William H. Cent five cent ten cent dollar. <laughs> yeah. Take a small change. Uh, Sitting in front of the crowd. I'm like, give me Big, Big Money Wine. Wine. Hey, Liberty. 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 The only anthem I salute is Gypset. Yeah. Mr. Saga. Catch mm-hmm. me a square one. Top left. Top left. Mr. Shopping that's three easy with a bad breeze. Like, I'm easy. Please believe me. The black AJ addict who crack your back like an automatic craft mag. Mr. La Marina. Mr. Marina with a fresh misdemeanor and a cold demeanor. AKA, your problematic bae. Just leave the kids in the car when you run inside the store. They'll, They'll be all right. be good, bye. Mwah. Besitos. You know what it is, man. This is episode 83, fam. Mm-hmm. We're so deep into the game, bro. Uh-huh. 
You know who it is, man. It's your boy, the Camaro, a.k.a. the Human Do-Rag Flap, a.k.a. Donovan McJab, a.k.a. Curve Gotti, a.k.a. Trez Khalifa, <laughs> a.k.a. Skirt Loader, a.k.a. James C. Fantic. I'll ghost on you, shorty, a.k.a. I know fucking baby. I fucking man. Feliz cumpleaños to myself, a.k.a. Check, this, check the fucking guess us again, you fucking meathead piece of shit. I will come back here with some niggas that have multiple felonies, and they will scar your face forever. Oh, yeah. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Listen, fam. I will jump off something very high, sprain my ankle, pretend I didn't sprain it, just to impress my kids, nigga, because mm. I'm the fucking d- d- dad of the year, a.k.a. Bitch Mac Biombo, a.k.a. Feel the Ass Tyson. I'm yes. trying to explore your cosmos, man, and take you to a higher level of thinking, a.k.a. Frank L. Messi, MVP of La Mota. I got more goals than anybody you know, nigga, a.k.a. Tom Brazy, shorty got my balls kind of deflated, but fuck it, dude, we're sp- sp- remaining positive, a.k.a. the Dominican, da, 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 a.k.a. Barlow Zantana, I'm so smooth, a.k.a. Dick and your pay my tumbo, this pussy belong to me now. You cannot enter this pussy no more because this is Dick and your Bay Motombo pussy. I own it. I have my name on the lease. AKA Ben Boss and my hands are gifted. I'll replace your brain with an old battery from a G book. And now you can process words at rates that you were not possibly able to do prior to. Plus, I'm cooking crack at the same goddamn time. How about your boy? You know what I'm saying? Ben. I'm getting these packs off. You know, like Jada said, you fuck up a pack, I'm going to fuck up your back. Woo. Literally, because I'm also a spinal surgeon. AKA Lightning El Touchy. Hello. Hello. Is it weed you're looking for? Cause I can see it in your eyes That you're broke as in your five So sit the fuck away from me, dog, Because I'm smoking that gas I'll open your fucking medicine cabinet, nigga Please secure your benzos of any kind Klein up his annex, anything you got, nigga Cause it's the Zen, man A.K.A. Rico Sabroso de Chuchetiti Call me, a.K.A. Baby Newport, A.K.A. Zenio Benningfield Cool I shits. gotta get some sticks. Mm, I gotta get some sticks. AKA Nino Brown, we got the car to shut down. AKA East Street, my Stevie B, featuring TKA, Catch Me at Katona Park. I wanna be the one your DD is sucking. And man, listen, ain't shit to do in OKC except go to Dave and Busters, but you know, I'm still Barmelo's Anthony for three. Switch! And straight from across the pond. Mm. And you little wankers are downloading tunes for Nish. That's why there's no real rock stars except for the Bodega Boys. You know who it is. It's the plant and souping over in the sky. One day you will find me smoking weed on Tremont with another bag of weed for like 20 minutes later. Mm. Shout out to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yo, listen. Yo, man, listen, man, if you see me in Target, dog, and you know that I'm on TV, and you see me trying to put candy inside my baby mom's purse without her knowledge, dog, don't violate. Respect my agency, my nigga, and approach me like, what? A earth sign mammal, dog. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Not an earth side mammal, or not an earth sign mammal, because it has nothing to do with astrology. It's earth sign, U-R-S-I-N-E. Please. Thank you. Que fue Hassan, tíreme la pista que llegó la estrella de cine No te cruces, mamá Dick Que este fin de semana estamos en Aguas Rojas Burlao con la paca Y después vamos para Locksmith activo Con el número uno DJ Hassan y Singh Tíreme un dembow, loco Episode 3, ya That's what I'm saying Licky there Shout out to everyone that's rocking us One season in Yeah 83 episodes of this You know what I'm saying uh, one season of Neo Yoke. Yeah, we had Ooh, the, we, we season one, right, baby. We yeah, season, we season, bro, we got like we got like five hundred episodes of collective content, my nigga. Listen, See, if you wanted to binge watch us, you would lose a month of your life. Listen, you know what I'm saying? Take time out. And we would lose. In, you would gain. Yes, actually, you take gain. your time out to invest in knowing about the Bodega universe. Make sure you caught up on all the episodes. Mm-hmm. If you have a kid or you're married, ignore it. Listen, this is all that matters. This is all that matters. Dive for the hive. Dive for the hive. Dive for the hive. We out. Peace. <laughs>